Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass, published in May 2017 as the third installment in her A Court of Thorns and Roses series. This novel continues the epic tale of Faya Arkharin as she navigates the complex and dangerous world of the Fae. Known for its intense action, intricate political maneuvering, and deep emotional stakes, Akawa brings the conflicts that have been building throughout the series to a head. The novel is a blend of fantasy, romance, and war, dealing with themes of sacrifice, loyalty, and the cost of power. It was well received by fans and critics, praised for its high stakes narrative and character development. Characters Faya Ark Heron, the protagonist, now the High Lady of the Night Court, who is determined to protect her loved ones and stop the impending war. Resend, the High Lord of the Night Court and Faya's mate, who plays a central role in the alliance against Hyben. Tamlin, the High Lord of the Spring Court, whose relationship with Faya becomes increasingly strained. Lucian, Tamlin's emissary and friend, who becomes an ally to Faya. More, Morrigan Risen's cousin and a key member of the Night Court's inner circle. Osriel, the Shadowzinger of the Night Court, known for his loyalty and skill in espionage. Cassian, the General of the Night Court's armies and a close friend of Resand. Amran, an ancient and powerful being, part of Risen's inner circle, who aids in the war effort. Nesta Arkherin, Faya's eldest sister, who has been transformed into a fairy and struggles with her new reality. Elaine Arkherin, Faya's middle sister, also transformed, who faces her own challenges adapting to her new life. The King of Hyben, the main antagonist, who seeks to conquer the human and fey realms. Durian, a resurrected human warrior with a complicated past, now allied with Hyben. Book Summary Return to the Spring Court The novel begins with Faya back at the Spring Court, pretending to reconcile with Tamlin while secretly acting as a spy for the Night Court. Faya's time in the Spring Court is marked by tension as she navigates her role, gaining valuable information about Tamlin's alliance with Hyben. Faya uses her cunning to sow discord among Tamlin's followers and undermine his efforts, all while maintaining the facade of compliance. Escape and reunion with the Night Court After gathering enough intelligence and causing significant disruption in the Spring Court, Faya escapes and returns to the Night Court. Her reunion with Resand and her friends is emotional, and she shares the information she has gathered about Hyben's plans. The Night Court begins preparations for the impending war, knowing that the stakes are higher than ever. The Gathering of Allies Resand and Faya work to gather allies among the other fairy courts. They face resistance and skepticism, as many high lords are reluctant to join the fight against Hyben. During these negotiations, tensions run high, and old grudges resurface, particularly with Tamlin and the Autumn Court. Despite the difficulties, Faya and Resand manage to secure crucial alliances, though not without making enemies along the way. The war begins. The war against Hyben begins in earnest. Faya and Resand lead their forces in several battles, each one more brutal than the last. The Night Court suffers heavy losses, and the toll of the war begins to weigh on Faya. The King of Hyben proves to be a formidable opponent, using cunning strategies and overwhelming force. Faya's sisters, Nesta and Elaine, play significant roles in the conflict, with Nesta's newfound power becoming a key asset. The Search for the Cauldron Faya and her allies embark on a dangerous mission to locate and neutralize the cauldron, the powerful magical artifact that Hyben plans to use to destroy the wall between the fairy and mortal realms. This quest leads them to confront ancient and powerful beings, including the Bone Carver and the Weaver, who demand high prices for their assistance. Faya's bond with Resan deepens as they face these challenges together, and she begins to understand the full extent of her powers. The Final Battle The novel's climax occurs during the final battle against Hyben. The combined forces of the Night Court and their allies face off against Hyben's armies in a desperate fight for survival. Faya's cunning and Ryzen's leadership are tested to their limits as they struggle to turn the tide of battle. 
key characters make significant sacrifices, and the cost of victory becomes clear. The battle is intense and chaotic, with moments of both triumph and tragedy. Aftermath and Rebuilding In the aftermath of the war, Feya and her friends are left to pick up the pieces. The losses they have suffered are profound, and the process of rebuilding both their lives and their world begins. Feya, now fully embracing her role as the High Lady of the Night Court, takes on the responsibility of leading her people into a new era. The novel ends on a hopeful note, with Feya and Rhysand looking towards the future, though the scars of the war remain. Themes Sacrifice and Loyalty A Court of Wings and Ruin delves deeply into the themes of sacrifice and loyalty. Throughout the novel, characters are forced to make difficult decisions, often sacrificing their safety, happiness, or lives for the greater good. The novel examines the personal cost of war and the ways in which loyalty to loved ones and ideals can drive individuals to extraordinary acts of bravery and selflessness. Power and Responsibility The novel continues to explore the theme of power and its associated responsibilities. Feya's journey is one of learning to wield her immense power not just for personal gain, but for the protection of her people and the defense of her world. Ryzen's leadership is also scrutinized, particularly in how he balances his duty to his court with his personal relationships. Healing and Redemption The aftermath of trauma and the possibility of redemption are key themes in Akawa. Characters such as Tamlin, Nesta, and Feya herself grapple with their past actions and the guilt that accompanies them. The novel suggests that healing is a long, difficult process, but that redemption is possible through acts of courage and love. War and its consequences War and its devastating consequences are central to the narrative. Mass does not shy away from depicting the horrors of battle, the loss of innocent lives, and the deep emotional scars left on those who survive. The novel also addresses the aftermath of war, including the challenges of rebuilding and the lingering tensions among the fairy courts. Love and Partnership The relationship between Feya and Rhysand continues to evolve, highlighting the theme of love as a partnership. Their bond is one of mutual respect, trust, and support, which contrasts with the more toxic relationships depicted elsewhere in the series. The novel also explores the various forms of love, including familial love, friendship, and the love of one's people. Analysis Character Development A Court of Wings and Ruin excels in its character development, particularly with Feya, Rhysand, and Nesta. Feya's evolution into a powerful and confident leader is portrayed with nuance, while Ryzen struggles with the burdens of leadership add depth to his character. Nesta's complex emotions and her journey towards accepting her new identity are also key highlights. World Building The novel expands the world of Prithian even further, introducing new courts, alliances, and ancient beings. Mass's detailed descriptions and intricate lore create a vivid and immersive world that enhances the story's epic scope. The political dynamics among the fairy courts add layers of complexity to the narrative. Pacing and structure, the pacing of Akawa is fast, reflecting the urgency of the war and the high stakes involved. The novel is structured around key battles and missions, with moments of character reflection and emotional depth interspersed throughout. This balance keeps the reader engaged while allowing for character and relationship development. Themes and symbolism, the novel's themes of sacrifice, power, and love are woven seamlessly into the narrative. Symbolism, such as the cauldron representing both creation and destruction, adds depth to the story. The exploration of war and its consequences is handled with care, offering a realistic portrayal of its impact on individuals and societies. Conclusion A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass is a gripping conclusion to the central conflict of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Through its exploration of themes like sacrifice, power, and healing, the novel offers a powerful narrative of war, love, and redemption. Mass's skillful character development and world-building create a story that is both epic in scope and deeply personal in its emotional impact. As the climax of Feyre's journey, Akawa delivers on the promise of the series, 
providing a satisfying and emotionally resonant conclusion while leaving room for future stories in the richly imagined world of Prithian. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. And leave your comments. See you in next book.